Hi, this is Kyle Parker for Expert Village, and I'm going to show you how to create and print tickets with Microsoft Word. Say you have a raffle that you need to create sequential numbered tickets for. So you can go ahead and create a table of approximately 5 by 2, and then come over to your table, and you're going to want to grab this little corner piece and drag this all the way down to the bottom of your page right above where the margins end here and then you'll go to table auto fit to window and this will adjust your table to evenly distribute all the columns and rows to fit your page um, then you can bring this center column here over a little bit and so now we have something that looks a lot more like tickets. From here we can go and start filling in our info for each ticket. Here maybe you want to insert some clip art or maybe you have an event you know where you already have a logo so you can just select a logo and place it in there. And then once you've done this you're going to want to shrink it back down so that way all your rows stay the same size and width and from here you can then format your picture and you can place the layout so that way your picture is in front or behind the text um, if you select one of these over here then your picture won't interfere with your text and it'll stay out of your way a little easier um, you can then center this and then maybe put save the trees and then maybe put the date and the city or place and then down here again you can put your ticket number place our picture back up here so it's kind of out of the way and then one is you can do insert and then a field and then you're going to want to go over to numbering and then go all the way down to sequential from here you can see your sequence identifier then your bookmark and then switches so you're going to want to give your sequence a name so you want to enter maybe ticket we'll call our sequence ticket come over to options and then to begin with we're going to need to do this resets the sequence number to the following so this will reset our numbers to begin with and then we'll enter a number so we'll start at 1000 and you can click OK and click OK again and then now our number there is set to a thousand we can then come over here to this ticket number insert another field go to sequence again this time we're going to want to do ticket again but now we're going to create one with C so we're going to want to add this because this is going to insert the nearest preceding sequential number so it's basically copying whatever the preceding number that we had was so it will be the same on your ticket stub and your ticket so we'll click OK again and now you'll see that this number is the same as this. You can then copy the contents of this cell here by doing Command C or Control C on a PC. Come down here, reselect our text direction, and then we'll paste this by here and then you can also come down to the corner and when you get this little arrow this will select everything that's in that cell so you can do copy and then paste this into here and what we're going to want to do for this now is delete this field and we're going to want to insert a new field for numbering sequential again and simply just do ticket and then now this will default to doing our next number 
And so on this, whenever you do select all and then press F9, this will update your fields. And as you'll see, this is updated because this is already set to next number. So it's already copying whatever the previous number was. So now we'll do the same thing again where we can copy. So maybe we can go to here and when you get our little arrow that'll copy everything in that whole section. We'll come down to this next cell and then paste it. And then we'll do the same for this and the same here. Come up to here hold shift and then we'll be able to select multiple rows and columns and then whenever we come down to our next one we'll paste and it'll do multiples and then you can just continue going like that until you've gotten the right number of tickets